Hello, and welcome to Arcade Pixels. I'm Zero Point, and this is The Last Tinker. The Last Tinker, City of Colors, by Me 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 Productions, released May 12, 2014, bursting at the seams with color and sound, brilliantly combining platforming, RPG, and adventure elements with gorgeous, imaginative landscapes and a fantastic soundtrack. The Last Tinker keeps sure footing from start to finish. Players take the role of the silent hero, Koru, a brightly dressed young boy living in the outer areas of Color Town, where creatures of all colors live together in harmony. But lately, the wonderful harmony has been disrupted. New emotions like fear, anger, avarice, and sadness have begun taking root. As the last Tinker, it's Koru's job to repair the damage and restore Tinker World to its peaceful self. He just doesn't know it yet. From the moment I began the game, I was blown away by the amazing soundtrack present. Even without the wonderful story and entertaining platforming, I would have continued to play simply to experience the sounds. Each area has a new, unique, and soulful sound all its own. Though voice dialogues are limited to the cinematics, speaking to characters throughout the world is not a silent event. Denizens of Color Town chirp and growl in a way that pairs wonderfully with the character models and the world in general. Dialogue boxes are presented as cardboard cutouts, with the text readable only from the front, adding a tremendous flavor to the world. Artistic and unusual, Tinker World draws you in with its vivid colors, tremendous landscapes, and adorable characters. Consistent design throughout the adventure is clear, and each new story area feels separate yet connected to the rest of the world. Visually striking, the game is reminiscent of games like Donkey Kong 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and other late 90s rare games. The Last Tinker, City of Colors, plays like a well-polished platformer, with easy-to-perform parkour maneuvers and exciting terrain to navigate. Skate along rails, leap on boats, and traipse across octopus tentacles. Movement in the game is crisp and consistent. For those with a completionist streak, collecting golden paintbrushes can reward you with wonderful concept art from the genial Bob Ross, or Rob Boss as he's called in Market District. And if you'd rather have in-game boosts for these paintbrushes, jeez, you can trade them away for Rob to make some interesting changes to the game, reminiscent of golden eyes cheats, such as Big Head Mode, Little Head Mode. God Mode is also available for a steep, steep price, and those looking for additional challenges can get the combat arena with their hard-won brushes. Combat is rather straightforward, eventually giving you three different punches throughout your playthrough, as well as many different techniques. Chaining these together in different orders produces interesting results. You can also purchase upgrades to your moveset from the dojo, some of which are necessary to advance the story. While combat's not particularly challenging in the beginning, it does grow in difficulty and seems to fit right in. Combined with the puzzles and a difficulty scaling from kids mode to hard, the game can be just as difficult as you want it to be. Overall, Arcade Pixels gives City of Colors, The Last Tinker, 9 out of 10. Enjoy!